Today I'm going to be telling you why the iPad mini is extremely useful when traveling and stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to be telling you if this is the iPad that you should get for travel. Organizing a trip is extremely important and the Apple Pencil, here's where the magic actually comes in. It just snaps on the side of your iPad mini, you pull it out and if you open up notes, you're currently drawing every stop that we're going to be taking in this trip. Think something new. Okay, so if I have to describe the iPad mini in one word, it would be comfort. It literally fits in my pocket, in this pocket right here, and it's not even a big pocket. So it's in between an iPhone and obviously an iPad at the same time. I'm kind of angry that they didn't let me put my boarding pass on my Apple Watch. I have to use paper, which, I mean, the Apple fans will understand, right? I want to have it on my Apple Watch. But they all see, but they all see is you need help. Mm. Power tip for all you iPad users. You can actually put your case on the front seat. So if you don't really want to watch the movies that there are on the display, simply pop up your iPad and now you've got the perfect way to watch movies and content from your iPad mini. Uh. That felt so incredibly long. By the way, whatever happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas, right? Don't tell anybody. What happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. One hour later. So what is your last name? Okay, we have arrived at the hotel and it's, this is, I always say this when I get to the hotel, but this is truly crazy. I'm sorry if I'm just gonna keep saying how crazy this is, but this is pretty crazy. I'm gonna tell you that they're snacks i think you have to pay them so let's leave them right here okay this is the craziest part ready alexa turn off the curtains holy sh early the next morning speed what a what a beautiful morning here um, I usually always tend to bring a speaker with me this is the Beats Pro Plus it's an amazing speaker and with my iPad mini I've actually got 500 gigabytes so I put a bunch of music so whenever if I'm online or offline I always have <laughs> I always have music with me, right? Welcome to Vegas, baby! On your mind, ready, set, let's go. The dance floor go. I know you know I go psycho with my new John Hit. I just can't sit. I gotta get jiggy with it. That's it. You know a day starts right whenever we have an insanely yummy vegan chicken with waffles, impossible sausage, coffee. Life is good. This is literally the funniest part about Vegas. You've got this beautiful architecture and then you turn around You've got the casino. It's pretty funny. All you need is a strong heart and nerves of steel. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas with your neon flag. And now I guess we are at Venice. Welcome to Italy again. I mean, come on, what other word can describe this right here? I'm speechless to be honest. This is. Is that guy proposing? There's something really special about cities going at nighttime, and Vegas is one of them. Like, you truly. Vegas is truly a night city. It's so much more beautiful at night. Like, right now is what I like. The Bellagio Hotel has this really famous fountain and it just started. Let me show you. All 
Alright, we're currently in bed after a pretty exhausting day. Um, I'm currently booking with TripAdvisor on tomorrow's helicopter ride, which is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait. Um, but I always try to use it whenever I'm traveling because you get to see people's actual opinions on certain activities. It's time to put this on airplane mode. It's time to go to bed. See you tomorrow, guys. The next day. Okay, here we go. It's time to go on the helicopter. We've got this limousine that we're actually going to. The day starting off right. We've got snacks. Something that I wanted to tell you is whenever you travel, try to not be shy. Like try to talk to everybody that's around you. Like from the helicopter pilot to just random people in the street, just people from restaurants. Be nice to people and just talk to people. And the relationships that you make, whenever I travel, I can get back to these certain people. Don't be shy. It's super important. I've told you this so many times already, but I truly believe wrist cam is the future of mobile photography. Having a camera on your wrist, I've said this so many times, but having like it doesn't, it's not meant to replace your iPhone or your camera. It's just another camera to have. And for certain moments, it's so useful. And the quality of the photos is absolutely insane. Yeah, I love wrist cam so much. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the screen since it's so sunny, but look at this. We're literally in the middle of nowhere because our helicopter ran out of gas. So we're currently putting some gas in, but look at where we are. We're nowhere. We have gas now. It's time to chill, it's time to read a little bit. And I gotta say, the iPad mini has something that no other iPad has. This perfect reading size. The iPad mini is perfect for reading how light it is, how small it is, and that you can actually hold it with one hand. It's got something very special to it that I'm just reading all day on it. I love reading with the iPad mini. Let's go eat breakfast because I am extremely hungry. Something that can get pretty crazy when you're traveling is all the expenses that you do, right? Again, all the documents and all the expenses and just any hotel rooms that I have, right? So you simply press scan documents here on notes, scan this, and then you're all set. Here's the thing with Cellular on iPad. I totally recommend, especially on the iPad mini, for you guys to get Cellular because it's got 5G. So with 5G, I'm constantly replying to emails and I don't have to constantly be looking for Wi-Fi's and stuff. It's always there. And you know, whenever you're traveling, certain Wi-Fi's can be dangerous for your privacy and stuff. So having 5G, it's secure, it's incredibly fast, and you're always freaking connected. It's actually nighttime right now, but it feels like daytime right now because of how many lights there actually is right here at Las Vegas Strip. Look at the lights. These panels are absolutely massive. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck is that? There's people flying. Okay, I just scanned how much flying actually is. It's 180 bucks for the two of us, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it, it's too expensive, sorry. The next day. All uh, right, we're currently going to California, so this is our ride for the day. I mean, it's not a Lambo, but it's a nice car, right? If you want me to be honest, I don't really care if it has any scratches. The only thing that I want in this car, please have CarPlay. That's the only thing that I want. Let's see. Okay, here we go, moment of truth, connecting. Does it have CarPlay? Oh, 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 hey! All right, let's put my Apple Music playlist, baby. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Let's go! Okay, so that's my journey with the iPad mini in Las Vegas. It's time to go to California now, and now I'm gonna show you how the iPhone 13 Pro is extremely useful when traveling while we go to California.